2016 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. For almost every vehicle on the market, product cycles typically last 6 to 8 years. At the end of that run, the vehicle gets a redesign with either a new or significantly improved structure. That's not the case for the Mercedes-Benz G-Class. First released in 1979, the G-Class has never been redesigned. Instead, Mercedes has opted to continually update the interior appointments, powertrains, and tech features of the Gelon Duogen, as it's called in its home country, and that's precisely the case for the reworked 2016 model. The changes for 2016 are mostly minimal. The front bumper and gauge cluster are revised. Adjustable shocks with sport and comfort modes are newly available for the base G550, and a series of bold new colors is offered. However, there's some pretty important stuff going on under the hood. The G550 switches from a naturally aspirated 5.5-liter V8 to Mercedes new twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8. Output increases from 388 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque to 416 horses and 450 lbft of torque, and Mercedes says fuel economy improves by 17% as well. The G63 AMG model's twin-turbocharged 5.5-liter V8 also gets a power boost from 544 to 563 horsepower while torque remains the same at 560 lbft. Finally, 2016 marks the return of the G65 AMG. Powered by a 6.0-liter V12, the G65 produces a whopping 621 horsepower and a stump pulling 738 lbft of torque. Despite the mild upgrades, the 2016 Mercedes-Benz G-Class comes with a healthy price hike. The G550 jumps $4,500 to $120,825. The G63 AMG adds $2,000 for a total of $140,825, and the G65 AMG arrives at a mortgage-like $218,825. If you're going to sell a vehicle that isn't a value for the consumer, you might as well make a lot of money on it. In conjunction with the Frankfurt Auto Show, I drove the revised 2016 G550 in and around Frankfurt, Germany, to test the new features and see if I could find any real value in a 36-year-old vehicle with modern mechanicals.